So this slide either makes sense or doesn't make sense at all. So I'm going to give uh, I'm going to give another way to look at the same estimation problem. So um, uh, you can also interpret it sort of uh, in in a Bayesian manner, right? So think about what we're trying to do. We have this unknown distribution. Uh, we're trying to estimate probabilities from it based on the samples that we pulled out of that distribution. Uh, how are we going to do it? Um, so what we can do is we can basically assume that this p, we don't know what it is, but we can say it's one out of many possible distributions. So I have a, I have a dark room filled with many of these urns, and I know that my sequence was drawn from one of the urns, but I just don't know which one. Right? So now, if that was the case, how would I estimate things? Well, I would say, OK, I have these three observations. I have a bunch of possible urns. And this p is just one of them. I just don't know which one. Right? So it could be the first one. And maybe my first distribution theta has the following words in it. So the way I would compute, <clears throat> uh, if, if that was the distribution p, then the probability of observing jury on the next trial is simple, right? I just take jury given that, uh, assuming that P was the first urn in the dark room, right? And what is the probability that uh, this was, uh, that P was the first urn? Well, that's just the posterior probability of theta one given that Monica Lewinsky and Case were sampled from it, right? Uh, of course, it could also be the second urn, right? So then I have the probability of jury under the second urn multiplied by the belief, and the belief is the posterior of the second urn, assuming that you saw Monica and Lewitsky and Case sampled from it. And then you repeat it for all the n urns, and you end up with that expectation. And that's the same that you had on the previous uh, slide. <clears throat> so uh, for each document D, I take the probability of seeing that word under that document. That's just the relative frequency with a little bit of smoothing. Uh, and then I have a weight on the document, so that's the belief that that urn was the urn P, and that weight is given by the posterior, by the Bayesian posterior of seeing Monica Lewinsky and Case as observations from the document. Right. So in this particular case, I guess, uh, so for the first document, the first urn, uh, it has Monica Lewinsky, Case, and has jury, right? So you expect this number to be high, because it has all the right words, and you expect p of j to be high as well, because it has the word jury in it. Right. For urn 2, it has monocle and scan case, so this number should be high, uh, but that number should be very low, right? because jury doesn't occur there, so the only contribution to jury would come from my smoothing, and that's a very, very small number. It's epsilon, basically. Right. Uh, and of course, this urn would have a small weight for both, uh, for both this part, because it doesn't have um, Lewinsky and Case, and it would ha have a high probability for the word jury because it occurs twice in that document. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, so that's a way that you can estimate. That uh, this is a method that you can use to estimate a probability distribution over the words based on a small sample of terms. Okay, so let's look at 